All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right in these challenging times. Now, today I want to discuss about a new day, a brand new day. I know in the previous message I just talked about new beginnings, but I just want to kind of, you know, chop it down a little bit and put a little layers to this one and just talk about a brand new day. Because the new beginnings in that one, I was basically talking about a transitional phase that could probably take weeks months or years you get what i'm saying as far as that process goes but a brand new day this one's a bit more day-to-day thing you know everything is a day-by-day process you know and we have to really take it literally day by day as far as change and growth because those things take time you know our situations might be a little complex so we might really have to take it day by day as far as our habits or wanting new things and wanting to shake back or recover from a bad day you might have had a bad day from work or just an argument with someone or just you know just things didn't go right the previous past 24 hours so you want to just kind of look forward to the next day and want to kind of make up for that you know we just got to take it day by day out here man because times are so unpredictable now we have to really cherish every second cherish every minute cherish every hour just cherish every all the small things, you know. We gotta be more grateful and appreciative of things. You feel me? So what I'm gonna do is regarding uh, regard to a new day. I'm gonna read certain scriptures about it, and then just go from there. The Book of Lamentations, chapter three, verse twenty-three. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. You know, it just talks about a renewed day and how great it can be and how much you can make the most of our days. The Book of Psalm, chapter one eighteen, verse twenty-four. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Most High wants us to be happy, joyful, rejoiceful people. You know, do not let these challenging times take away your joy. You're going to need that joy. You're going to need that happiness. You're going to need that positivity. You're going to need that merry heart. You know what I'm saying? We need to keep that that, that stable joy. You know what I mean? This is the day the Lord has made and we should rejoice in it and be glad in it. The book of Matthew chapter 28 verse 1 Now after the Sabbath as it began to be dawn toward the first day of the week Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to look at the grave So this is talking about you know when Christ dying and returning How much of a new day it was to see Christ return from, from death You know and Mary Magdalene and Mary was there to witness it And that was a brand new day and brand new season for all of them to see that So Every day you might see something powerful, something amazing in your life. You never know, you know, something could dramatically change our lives spiritually, you know, and we should strive towards that. You know, we want a miracle. We want something to look towards to in the night, in a new day, you know. Now, let's see. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse eight, then your light will break out like the dawn and your recovery will speedily spring forth. And your righteousness will go before you. The glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. So, you know, you just got to learn how to bounce back and shake back from things, you know. The most high is with us through it all. Through the good times, the bad times, the highs, the lows. The Lord is with us through it all. And he wants us to rejoice each day. You know what I mean? And always trust him and keep the faith and always, you know, cling on to the most high all the time. That's what it's about. Now, let's see the book of Psalm, chapter 145, verse two. Every day I will bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day we praise the Lord. Every day we we thank him every day. The book of Genesis, chapter one, verse five. God called the light day in the darkness. He called night and there was evening and there was morning one day. It's beautiful how the most high created everything and put it in his design. And we have to embrace it day by day. We have to embrace the most highest creation. Focus on more the important things, you know. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 23. And it shall be from new moon to new moon and from Sabbath to Sabbath. All mankind will come to bow down before me, says the Lord. So each day we got bowed down to the most high, straight up. He's the creator. He's the maker. We have to respect that. The book of Psalm, chapter 42, verse 8. The Lord will command his love and kindness in the daytime. And his song will be with me in the night. A prayer to the God of my life. Yes, yes. 
Man, God is amazing. God is we serve an awesome God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's an awesome God. The book of James, chapter four, verse thirteen. Come now, you who say today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a city and spend a year there and engage in business and make a profit. And there, there I was talking about how you don't get too ahead of yourselves, you know. You know, we must take it day by day. We have to be God will before we plan something, we have to say if God is willing, he'll allow us to do this and this on that day. We can't get too ahead of ourselves and think we control the days and stuff because we don't. Life is so unexpected nowadays, so you have to really put things in the most high hands and whatever's within our control we have to hold ourselves accountable and handle our business and do right you know what i'm saying we have to take it day by day people now let's see the book of romans chapter 13 verse 12 the night is almost gone and the day is near therefore let us aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 78 Because of the tender mercy of our God With which the sunrise from on high will visit us The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 2 For you yourselves know full well Full well that the day of the Lord will come Just like a thief in the night He's Talking about when the most high sun return You know Jesus comes back You know He will catch everybody slipping So We better be working while he coming back You feel me Don't let him come back and your work's not done You know we got to stay diligent. We got to stay busy. We got to keep working till the most high sun come back, man. Keep working till Jesus come back. You straight up, man. This ain't a time to be lazy and wasting time, man. This is the time to get it right, tighten up, and stop playing. You feel me? We got to be more diligent than ever. We got to be more alert than ever. We got to be on our toes more than ever. We got to take it day by day, man. Straight up. The book of Psalm chapter 46, verse 5. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. So you ladies out there that be tripping, just know the Most High is with you. The Most High is with all of us, you know. You know, he's with all of us, man. We got to get it right. We got to stay solid. Got to stay strong day by day. The book of Exodus chapter 12, verse 2. This month shall be the beginning of months for you, for it is... To be the first month of the year to you. The book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. God's glory has shine is amazing. We have to arise and shine, people. Rise and shine. Get to it. Wake up and get to it. Handle your business. Book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, yes. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 23 And that you be renewed in the spirit of your mind Renew our mind people Whatever happened yesterday and before Stop thinking about that Move on from it, let it go Shift our minds to a new today Focus on what's in front of us and what's ahead New day, it's a new day y'all Get your head out of your clouds Stay focused, stay solid, stay diligent The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 16 Therefore no one is to act as your judge In regard to food or drink Or in respect to this festival Or new moon or Sabbath day The book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 Behold days are coming Declares the Lord When I will make a new covenant With the house of Israel And with the house of Judah Israel Judah get it together Israel Judah tighten up Come on now the book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 8 Thus says the Lord in a favorable time I have answered you and in a day of salvation I have helped you and I will keep you And give you for a covenant of the people To restore the land to make them inherit The desolate heritage heritages See so all this was prophesied To us but It's going to be a new day man we have to keep Working hard towards it The most high is going to restore things In our lives things that have been broken or Lost or taken away the Most High is going to double, triple that portion. He's going to bring it back hundredfold, thousandfold, millionfold. It's going to be unlimited. You feel what I'm saying? The way the Most High repays His people and restores us is beautiful. We have to strive day after day for that restor restoration. You want to be fully healed, fully restored? Man, you got to work hard to strive for that. You got to keep growing. You got to keep going. Keep growing and keep going, y'all. Keep your heads up. I know it's challenging, but keep your head up. The book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 3 Nations will come to your light 
and kings the brightness of your rising. The book of Psalm chapter 119 verse 147. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I wait for your words. Day and night, morning, evening, afternoon, we praise the Lord. We thank him. We glorify him. We bless his name. We thank the Lord for it all, man. We scream his name. We praise his name on high, you know. No matter what we go through, what mood swing it is, we're going to praise the Lord. All 24-7, straight up. The book of Psalm, chapter 68, verse 19. Blessed be the Lord who daily bears our burden. The God who is our salvation, Selah. See, man, the Most High bears all of our burdens, man, through his son. But he He takes it all in. All of our pain, all of our hurt, all of our issues, he takes that, man. And he cares about it. You know what I'm saying? The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 5. For you are all sons of light and sons of day. We are not of night nor of darkness. You know, man, we shine bright, baby. Let our light shine. It's a new day. You got to shine, baby. The book of Job, chapter 38, verse 12. Have you ever in your life commanded the morning and caused the dawn to know its place? We have to humble ourselves and understand that the Most High created all of this. He created the day, the night, the heavens, the sun, the moon, and everything. So we have to always respect that and humble ourselves when it comes to this Most High's creation. We can't get too big-headed or too arrogant or too ahead of ourselves. We have to humble ourselves at the end of the day, day after day. Now, let's see. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 12. A land for which the Lord your God cares. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it from the beginning even to the end of the year. Now, let's see. The book of Second Samuel, chapter 23, verse 4. Is as the light of the morning when the sun rises, a morning without clouds, when the tender grass springs out of the earth through the sunshine after rain. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 8, who will also confirm you to the end, blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Straight up. The book of Psalm chapter 143 verse 8, let me hear your love and kindness in the morning, for I trust in you. Teach me the way in which I should walk. For to you I lift up my soul. The book of Psalm chapter 138 verse 3. On the day I called, you answered me. You made me bold with strength in my soul. The most high strength in us, man. Day by day, he strengthened us, man. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 7. The light is pleasant and it is good for the eyes to see the sun. Beautiful days, man. The summer weather is amazing. We got to thank God for the good weather. Even though it's still crazy out here, you know, people still acting up. We got to do better and tighten up and help these lost, broken people out here. It's not a time to be all judgmental and nitpicky. We be, we need to help these lost souls out here in these beautiful days, you know. Reach out to someone when you go into the supermarket or you're going to work or you're in class. Wherever you're at, you reach out to the lost soul. The day is too beautiful to not win a soul. You know what I mean? The book of Isaiah chapter 52 verse 6. Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore in that day I am the one who is speaking. Here I am. Yes, yes, we'll know. Trust me, we'll know. We know. The book of Luke chapter 21 verse 22. Because these are the days of vengeance so that all things which are written will be fulfilled. This was Jesus talking about prophecy and how the, the latter times, the perilous times, the... Days of Noah, like today, that we're currently in, would be a bit crazy, but we still have to be that light. We still have to be positive. We still have to be real. We have to be authentic, and we still got to help people. We still got to live a fulfilled life through all this chaos and madness and violence. We got to be the ones to set good examples no matter what. We can't let nothing out here steer us wrong and uh, take us away from the faith. We got to still keep the faith out here, no matter how it's looking. The book of Galatians chapter 4 verse 10. You observe days and months and seasons and years. The book of Job chapter 33 verse 25. Let his flesh become fresher than in youth. Let him return to the days of his youthful vigor. The book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. But the path of the righteous is like the light of the dawn that shines brighter and brighter until the full day. Walk that beautiful path, people. It's a new day, new beginnings. Walk that beautiful path. Let's